So one of the biggest fears I'm hearing right now is that e-commerce as a whole is completely down. People are fearful of the future and they're not spending their money online. So sales are down for everybody. Now for some niches, yes, that is the case. They've just completely tanked and they're 10% of the size they used to be. But to say that's true for all niches is completely false. In fact, the opposite is true in some cases. Some niches because of the current situation are actually bigger and better than they ever have been. So in this video, I wanna share five of those niches with you. If you are a beginner looking for a particular particular niche to move into a particular range of products to sell, then I highly suggest you go into one of these niches. Or perhaps you've already been running in a Shopify store for a while and you've been affected massively, then a consideration of open up a general store and testing some products within these different niches would perhaps be a good idea to you. Obviously, one of the advantages of running a general store is you can test products from pretty much any niche and without them looking out of place. Before we jump into the video, I just want to take 10 quick seconds to mention the three ebooks I've been putting together. There's three different ones. Each one is on a different aspect of your business so there's Facebook ads scaling techniques Shopify tips and tricks to help increase your conversion rate and then there's also a product page layout one too um, if you do want to download them like I said they're 100% free just simply head into the video description below this video and there'll be a link clearly listed down there for you so the first niche I want to share with you guys is the garden niche if we take a look at the Google trend data to start with before we have a look at some products um, we can see that the search term of gardening is the most popular it ever has been in the past five years and um, for obvious reasons so no Number one being the weather is getting hotter here in the UK in fact the weather has been lovely the last few days and if we kind of look back at the previous kind of time periods it's not until sort of March April time until the spike starts to occur and then obviously due to the current other reasons other things going on like the virus and lockdown people are obviously turning their attention and their interests and spending time on those things um, in and around their household one of those things being their garden in terms of the products themselves obviously within their garden niche there's just tons and tons of different products you can sell there's decorative things there's different tools there's furniture um, there's plants for different range of gardeners for different ranges of jobs that they do one thing worth mentioning at this point is just because these products are within the garden niche doesn't mean they're going to be a bestseller on Facebook at the end of the day we're still advertising on a social media platform we still have to compete for our customers attention so our products need to be cool quirky relevant and of interest from our customers as well otherwise they're not going to get that interest and attention on Facebook people are going to scroll past them and we're not going to see very good results so just make sure you go for those products that are pretty cool pretty unique and that people are most likely to buy let's give you an example of what i mean by this then if we take for example this product here 452 sold it's a pair of shears if that's the right term um, for four pounds to sell this profitably on facebook we're probably looking at about 15 20 pounds sale price nobody's going to pay 20 pounds for a product like this because everybody knows you can go to any garden store or even order it off amazon for a fraction of the price so you need to go for something a bit more unique that people necessarily won't have seen before to show you a few of my favorite products then within this niche now i'm no gardener so there might be a whole bunch of total rubbish but i do know a thing or two about selling things on Facebook and getting people's attention. And these are the products that stood out to me then. So number one is these solar lights on the right. With it being summer now, it's a great time to have a product like this because obviously they're gonna get adequate charge during a day. And they're really pretty products. I know from experience that products that light up are really, I was gonna say easy, but they're not easy to sell, but they're easier to sell because they're quite an aesthetic piece and they kind of stand out and it's really easy to create content around a particular product like this one. The second one that caught my attention as well, caught my eye, whereabouts was it? was these glass watering bulbs here because they are decorative and yet they solve a solution, they solve a problem at the same time. So it's kind of two in one, which is really nice. However, my favorite product on this list was these solar light owls. They're really decorative, they look really cool. And because it's an animal, because it's an owl, that's another interest you can target on Facebook as well. So you can target people who are interested in gardening and people who are interested in owls. And the more interests you can include in your products, then the better, because then the more likely somebody is to be attracted to it and for that particular product to actually resonate with your audience and trust me it will gain a lot more attention moving on to niche number two which is the home workout niche this one kind of speaks for itself as people have to be contained in their own houses especially those people who go to the gym several times a week they've got no other option but to work out at home plus as people have more time to spend on their hands if that's the right term as people have that more time we can see that last week or towards the end of the march it was just absolutely crazy how much more popular this has become. Now it isn't a slightly down period, but I wouldn't let this put you off. Even so, it's still mega, mega popular um, during the current times. And one thing you wanna do as well when you're using Google Trends is always check out related queries because this could give you like a USP to the market and look for the 
things that you can kind of include with the product or the bundle or the offer that you're essentially going to be advertising. To give you an example of what I mean by this then, if we take a look at related query number five, home booty workout, then perhaps you could sell a product which would help somebody with this search term or somebody looking for this particular search term. Um, or perhaps you could offer an ebook if you're fitness orientated yourself and you've got a lot of spare time on your hands and you're working out from home, then why not write an ebook um, for somebody who is looking for this particular thing. Same thing, home glute workout. So it could be a product that would help somebody work out their glutes whilst they're at home. In terms of the products then, there's hundreds and hundreds of different products, different routes to market here. The more specific you can be with the kind of customer you're going after, the better success you're going to have. And again, just make sure that the product you're advertising is cool, quirky, unique, and of interest, has a USP, and people will genuinely want to buy it. So for example, if you're going to sell a skipping rope on its own for 20 pounds, you're not gonna have much success nobody's going to want to wait two weeks and pay 20 pounds when they know for a fact everybody knows you can go into amazon sports direct pretty much any online retailer and get a skipping rope delivered for about five pounds unless it's like some crazy unique skipping rope that nobody's ever seen before but other than that stick to something a bit more like this pilates bar or this kind of attachment here that you can put a battle rope around your tree in your garden something that you won't necessarily have seen in the shops before however given the current times we're living in and um, we'll come in use more than ever. I do wanna show you this one further product you see on screen now. I did feature this in my previous video a couple of days ago, so I won't spend too much time on it, but as you can see, the popularity of this product has spiked crazily in the past few weeks. Um, and the reasons I believe then is obviously number one, it's really current to the times we're living in now. But number two is it's an all in one. You get all the different kind of levels of resistant bands all in one package. It's like a bundle offer, for example. And the reason why this is useful, being somebody who's interested in fitness, and I have sometimes thought about working out at home and looked for resistant bands, it's impossible to know which one is gonna have the correct level of assistance. Whereas with a product like this, obviously you don't need to worry about that because it comes with multiple different levels. So no matter what exercise you're doing at home, then you're gonna have a resistance band um, that suits that need. Niche number three, which is baking. It was actually my girlfriend which gave me the idea for this niche. She has baked more in the last two weeks than she ever has since I've known her. And this is backed up by the Google Trend data. We can see that in April 2020, it's the most popular it ever has been since 2004, so in the last 16 years. And this is true for cooking in general. Obviously with takeaways being shut, or at least some being shut, more and more people are cooking at home. If we have a look at some kitchen gadgets on AliExpress, there's loads and loads of different tools and gadgets you can go for and again the more specific about who your ideal market is going to be so whether whether that's a baker that you're going to be targeting or somebody who cooks more kind of traditional main meals a chef or whether it's going to be somebody who makes smoothies all the time you have to be super specific about who you're targeting otherwise it's going to be specific to nobody to give you an example of this then if we take the dog niche i could go out there advertise a dog product just a generalized dog product that every single dog owner um, would have a use for but if it was a product that was specific to a certain type of breed, then that product has a stronger connection with that person if they have that breed of dog, if that makes sense, versus just a generalized dog product. I guess if I was trying to sell a key ring that had the outline of just a dog that didn't really apply to any particular breed versus a key ring that had like a German Shepherd outline or a Labrador outline or a pug outline, then obviously your audience is much more specific and it's gonna have much more kind of relevance to a particular type of person. One of my favorite products then within this space to show you is this potato peeler here. I think with a lot more people cooking at home a product like this is really good for a number of reasons number one is it's more affordable than people think i remember trying to look for one of these things a few years ago and for a decent one it was like 100 200 pounds whereas you can pick them up now for like 20 30 pounds or well, this one is less than 15 dollars. i've checked out the reviews as well they're really good the second thing as well is when it comes to advertising a product like this, like it's really simple how you would. You would just take a video of it being effective and essentially doing the job, and people will want to watch it naturally to see how well of a job it does, which is gonna get you good engagement, it's gonna get you cheaper CPMs and a further reach, and it's something that actually genuinely solves a problem. Like my girlfriend loves to make homemade chips, but the thing that she hates is peeling the potatoes because that's the time-consuming bit. So it solves a really important issue, it's really easy to advertise, and it's more affordable than people think. Just to show you one more product as well then, um, just 
just quickly, I don't wanna make this video too long, is this vegetable slicer here. It does a multiple, a multi range of different things from vegetables to fruits, to salads, to pretty much anything. And I think a product like this, given the current times with people cooking at home, it's gonna save them so much time. It's pretty affordable. It fits within that kind of impulse buy price range. And the other thing as well is if we have a look at how many stores are actually selling this, out of the 29 plus stores, there's only two selling it in the UK. So there's a really good market or a really good space or uncompetitive space to sell this product to the UK. The fourth niche I wanna share with you guys is the gaming niche. With kids being off school, spending more time at home, everybody in fact spending more time at home, then more and more people are gonna be spending time on their Xbox, on their PC, on their PlayStation. And this is where an opportunity comes in because obviously the more time people are spending on something, then the more people there are spending money within that particular niche. So again, if we take a look at the products within this particular niche, the same principles apply that I've spoken about in the video is that just make sure you go for a cool, quirky product that has a USP. Now, I'm not a hardcore gamer, so personally I would find it quite difficult to pick out a product that I could like bet a lot of money on quite safely. But if I was just to scroll through here, something like this caught my eye because it has that USP and that USP is for those people who are a bit short on space so on small desks or they can't turn their keyboard sideways for example, they could buy products like this and it has that left hand side of a keyboard um, available. Now I do know enough about gaming that gamers use that kind of left hand side for their left hand and they tend to have all the buttons within reach so they would have all the buttons they need however it takes up like a third of the space now i'm not a gamer so what i just said might be absolute rubbish if you are a gamer watching this make sure you correct me if i am wrong but to me then it seems to stand out for that particular reason if we have a look at some other products there's some pretty cool products on here for example this like keyboard and mouse they match each other which is pretty cool plus they have like this light effect which makes it looks like lightning and overall it looks pretty cool to be fair so there are some pretty interesting and unique products what's really good about the gamer niche as well is that if somebody's going to buy a keyboard so for example if this was me selling this product i would sell the keyboard or the mouse separately and then offer the other one as an upsell and it would be a great way to kind of entice people in into only spending say 15 pounds on one item but then upselling them to say 30 40 pounds by getting the matching set and that goes for all niches as well by the way you should always be looking to increase your average order value at any opportunity, whether that's an expedited shipping, a larger product, a different product, something that complements the original product. The more money you can get people to spend with you, the higher your profit margins are going to be, which is key to any successful business that's sustainable for a long period of time. What's just caught my eye as well is this headset on the right hand side. Um, these are pretty universal too, they apply to Xbox gamers, PlayStation and PC gamers. So again, these could be another cross sale or upsell offer, or perhaps you can include everything into one go because people are at home and they've got loads of spare time in their hands. Now might be the time which they think, right, I'm gonna have a go at being a streamer, I'm gonna get a setup together. Um, so offering every, essentially everything they need all in one go, maybe your USP and maybe the offer that's most appealing to those new gamers. The fifth and final niche I wanna show you in this video then is things to do at home. Now this is a pretty broad niche, the reason I've put this in here at the end is because it's more so here to kind of spark ideas um, within your own minds. Um, so when people are searching for things to do at home, that could mean many things. It could mean educational toys for their kids because they're off school. It could mean activities to do in their garden. It could be DIY and home improvement with people contained in their own homes. Now might be the time in which they start to turn to home improvement and get around to that list of jobs that they just otherwise haven't had time for. It could be dog walking. One of the only reasons people are allowed to, in fact, leave their houses during the day is to take their dog on walks or other different dog walking products. There's just a ton of different niches, different products that are super in demand at the moment. You just have to pick those products which are relevant to now, to today, to the current times we're living in. And a great way to test that or to find that information out is to come onto a website like Google Trends and put your products into here and see what the current data is showing you. And with that being said, guys, I'm going to wrap this video up there. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. Any comments or questions, I do read every single comment on every single one of my videos. So if there is something you want to ask me, just post it below. I will see it and I will respond to you. And finally then, if you are looking for a program that comes with full support and guidance, please do check out my Ecom Academy. There will be a video link, a link in the video description below. So please do go ahead, check that out. Um, and then again, any comments or questions, just make sure you let me know. And with that being said then, thanks again for watching and I'll see See you in the next one.